one of our most popular, if not our most popular, uh, summer legume crop is cowpeas. And uh, we've got several different varieties of cowpeas, and they each have different advantages, disadvantages. Um, one here is probably our, our top seller, and that's iron and clay. And the advantage that iron and clay cowpeas have is, here it is, it's October 3rd, and not a flower on it. It's a uh, very, very long maturity. And the advantage of having that long maturity is that it can grow well into the fall, clear till frost, and, and still keeps putting on leaves, still keeps putting on foliage. In fact, uh, if you look over here at the variety next to it, which are pink eyes, uh, pink eye cowpeas are more of a, a human food variety. Uh, it is used for human consumption. It will put on pods earlier, and it uh, it is a uh, not as productive as the iron and clay, um, but the seed is really cheap. It's a very high seed yielding plant, uh, so it produces a lot per acre. So we can get the seed for pink eye quite a bit cheaper than we can the iron and clay, um, and that's obviously cheap as an advantage. Um, won't make as much biomass because it doesn't grow as long and it'll grow just as fast in a short time window so if you're planting later or you've got just a, a very narrow window of growth the pink eyes might give you some advantage in that regard because they are a lower cost product to plant but, uh, if your goal is to produce a lot of nitrogen and a lot of forage and you've got a long window to grow it in to beat iron and clays.